Hey everyone, it's Fitz with your daily delivery. Hope you're doing well. I am quite good. A busy day on Thursday around the Go Power Cat studio. We had an open practice, so we got video, we got photos, and we'll have some content coming. And of course, we had the Big 12 Insiders. It was a fun day, and I'm wrapping it up with a welcome to the newcomers because it hasn't been official until today. The Big 12 is now 16. Now your reminder to please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Hit the thumbs up, leave those comments. It's all appreciated so very much. It makes me a better person when you comment. I, I don't know. I don't know why I said that. Anyhow, welcome to the four former Pac-12 schools who are officially members of the Big 12 as of today. I'm looking forward to seeing all the videos put out by the schools. I know Arizona put up a little preview that kind of got my juices going. But unlike most times when teams leave a conference and join a new one, it wasn't July 1. As it turns out, it was August 2 because their contract ran through August 1, although they were at Big 12 Media Days. And, it, you know, for all of us, it didn't really matter. But for the schools, it is now official. They are now members of the Big 12. Arizona, I have a gift for you. I think you should rename your football stadium in honor of Kansas State football. Uh, that's my gift for you. Let me explain if you don't know. There are some moments in K-State football history that are memorable and important. But in the early Bill Snyder days, notably 1993, when he took the program to his first bowl game and only the second bowl game in school history, that's how bad it was, and they lost that game in 1982, he took a team to Tucson, Arizona for the former Copper Bowl and beat the Tar out of Wyoming. Like the opponent wasn't great, but the game was seismic in terms of the history of Kansas State football. That was the moment when we knew something real was going on because 50,000 fans or so showed up in the desert and had a party and saw their team play really well. Arizona State, I don't know what to give you. You seem to have so much and with it you do so little. You have a huge, enormous student body. You have, uh, let's just say, some of the most beautiful people on the planet. And yet your athletics, okay, you need to work on that. And I know you've got some fun stuff now around the stadium, but could you work on the stuff in the stadium? So I, I'm giving you the hope of a better football future and a basketball future, just a future. But you have hockey. That's cool. Weird, but cool. Colorado, welcome back. It's good to have you. I actually missed you. For a while I didn't, but then I realized this conference needs that western boundary, the Rocky Mountains. And I have always, always enjoyed going to Boulder, and I will be back there this fall, and I'm very fired up. But I give to you the thought of getting a better press box. I'm just saying, it was bad when we were there before, and I hear it hasn't changed. Hopefully it has. I doubt it has. It was not good. Just get your facilities up and running because if you go around the Big 12, you're going to find a radical change in the facilities you saw 10 years ago or how many ever years ago is longer than that when you left the conference. And Utah, my gift to you is maybe peace, a little, a little calm to, to your uh, personality. I don't know how to say this. You went through a trauma leaving the Pac-12 and I get that. But now you're in the Big 12, and I slowly see the Utah fans beginning to get it. But here's my gift to you, the college towns at which you're going to visit for football games, if you travel, and you should in this conference, you're going to have a blast. I know you're going to miss those giant metro areas of the Pac-12, but that's not why we do college football in the Big 12. We do it for the football game and the brotherhood and fellowship of going to the games and maybe tipping back for a little drink once in a while. You are going to have a great time in these college towns. I don't know where you go this season. I didn't bother looking, but go to Stillwater. I know you go there. And if you have an opportunity, make sure you go to Ames and Manhattan and Morgantown and some of these great towns all around the Big 12. Welcome to the Big 12, Pac-12 schools. The Pac-12 is officially no more, and you are one of us.